Okay, so now it's 1.30 a.m., just about, sorry, p.m. on Thursday, uh, June uh, 20th, 2024. Um, I am trying to get into the shower and take a shower right now. I need to leave. I have a lot of stuff to do. I'm also trying to finish washing some dishes, and I'm trying to fill up some water bottles. And I can't because the water is so slimy and oily that all of the soap that I was trying to rinse off right now with these two dishes that you see here, it, it literally like makes everything even soapier and greasier. And I can't drink the water because it's like drinking oil. I actually literally tried to drink the water that's in this bottle. It is so oily and slimy. It's like drinking oil. I mean, there's something slimy and oily in this water. There's also somebody smoking in the area of the bathroom behind this wall right here. So I keep reporting to Greenville that there's somebody making banging noises directly behind this wall and smoking marijuana. And this has been going on throughout the entire morning. The marijuana smoke from behind this wall started about 10 minutes after I sat up in bed at right around 7.55 this morning. And how would anybody in that bathroom right there know when I'm sitting up in my bed silently, right? Sitting up in bed doesn't make any noise unless you're really... Um, you know, your balance is off or something and you're just stumbling around. Why would somebody in the bathroom of 78 that Greenville keeps telling me isn't rented and is vacant suddenly start smoking marijuana from behind this wall, literally five to 10 minutes after I quietly sit up in bed and start drinking coffee. And throughout the morning, there's been somebody literally filling my bathroom and this corner right here with marijuana smoke. I have the door wide open. As you can see, the door to the hallway is completely open. See that? because I have to ventilate this space due to the nonstop marijuana smoke. There's absolutely no marijuana smoke anywhere in the hallway. Nobody's smoking marijuana in the hallway. They never do. The marijuana smoke never comes from the hallway. Somebody is cooking something in that area, but that's cooking. There's also absolutely no marijuana smell anywhere here. Oh yeah, I smell it over here. That is like strong. So why am I smelling marijuana in my bathroom if it's not coming from over here? Because there's someone in the bathroom of 78 smoking it, that's why. It always comes from unit 78. I just smelled it over by the door of 78. And because it's always so intense in here, I literally have to keep this door wide open just for ventilation. It's also about like 90 degrees outside right now. So all of these dishes I've been trying to rinse out now, it literally feels like there's salad dressing. It's so slimy and oily, you, you can't possibly rinse anything. It's so oily. It's like drinking oil when you try to fill up this water bottle, which I can't fill up with water from this tap. Let's go to the bathroom down the hall and see if the water is oily down there. I mean, Irizarry the psychopath likes to access the premises of her former bathroom, which is located behind that wall and behind this wall right here. That's all of Unit 78. And then she gets really agitated whenever I try to use the water from my tap. And she starts making smacking noises behind the kitchen sink to let me know that she's right there. This has been going on for years. This is nothing new. Okay, so this water's a little bit better. No, it feels normal. No, it feels like regular water, actually. It's not slimy. There's a big difference between regular water and grease, grease, right? We all know the difference. Regular water rinses everything off and you feel clean and there's no gritty or tacky residue. There's no oily residue. Yeah, this water seems to be okay. Put the water to my kitchen tap right now. It's like salad dressing. I mean, that's how oily it is. Nothing is rinsing clean. And because of the intense marijuana fumes right now coming from the bathroom of 78, behind my kitchen sink, I have to keep this door wide open, even though there's obviously, you know, activities going on in the hallway, people walking up and down, 
it's not an ideal situation where you have to keep the door open all the time. Okay, so how does this water? Yeah, this water is oily. It's, it's so slimy that my hand that was actually just rinsed clean under the tap in the common bathroom two minutes ago is now suddenly all greasy. There's a slimy residue co like covering my hand right now. So why is it coming out of this tap and not the tap in the bathroom down the hall? That's weird. Oh, and somebody just made a smacking noise behind this wall. I don't know if you could hear it on this phone. Somebody just went like, like that from behind that wall. But it sounded like it was coming from lower, like from maybe behind the toilet. But I'm not using the toilet, so why are they some, oh, they just did it again. Someone just hit the wall back. Are you kidding me? Yeah, there's somebody in the bathroom 78. And they just hit the wall twice. While I was smacking it, they hit it back. Okay. And now there's like intense marijuana smoke coming from, all right, you know what? This is crazy. There's a psycho behind this wall right here, literally filling this entire corner with marijuana smoke, affecting the quality and safety of the water to my tap. I have a I have a deadline this afternoon that I need to be somewhere before five in order to fax a bunch of documents. So this is preventing me from being able to do what I need to do in my bathroom and in my kitchen sink in order to get ready to finish rinsing off my dishes. Property, press three for the office directory. Press four or press zero for the front desk. These psychos just don't know when to stop. I mean, they're it's constantly. Please try again. Hello, you've reached the Greenville Real Estate Group. You may dial an extension at any time. Front. So what time is it? So it's like 1.30 and they can't answer their phone. Please leave a detailed message with your name and number so we may get back to you when we return. Hi there. It's right around 1.30 p.m. on Thursday, June 20th, 2024. I'm calling from Unit 89 to once again report some ongoing aggressive, disruptive behavior coming from someone who's sitting in the bathroom of 78 right now and who has been smacking the wall behind my toilet throughout the morning and early afternoon while I've been trying to use the facilities in my bathroom and while I've been in my bathroom trying to use the uh, tap, the water from my bathroom tap, my shower head, and my kitchen sink right now are unusable because there is some type of extremely oily, greasy, slimy residue currently coming out of that water that makes it impossible for me to rinse anything out right now. And this started happening about an hour ago as soon as I started washing dishes at my sink the water had been fine throughout the morning, and then as soon as I started washing things actually in my sink, uh, the water became extremely oily, slimy, and greasy, and right now it feels like salad dressing is coming out of my kitchen tap. I just went down the hall to the common bathroom to try to see if that water was slimy and oily and greasy, and it's not. Uh, the water from the common bathroom in the bathroom down the hall is perfectly normal, and I was able to effectively rinse off my hands under that tap without my hands becoming extremely slimy, oily, and greasy. But as soon as I came back into my unit and tried to rinse out my hands under my bathroom tap and my kitchen tap, uh, both taps were literally causing my hands to be ex suddenly become oily and greasy again. Could you please send maintenance up here? There's someone in the bathroom of 78 making banging noises. Right now, they're smoking up a storm of marijuana. I just had to walk around the hall to see where the marijuana was coming from. It's not coming from anywhere in the hallway. It is coming from the bathroom of Unit 78, located behind my kitchen sink and behind the wall of my toilet. There's a psychopath named Jasmine Irizarry who lived in the bathroom of Unit 78 between 2013 and 2022, and she likes to continue to access her former bathroom. Or maybe you guys just moved her back in, and she's engaging in the same exact psychotic, aggressive, disruptive pattern of 
behavioral uh, attention seeking now as she did during the nine years that she officially lived in the bathroom of 78. She's never not in 78. There's always somebody making banging noises behind my toilet and behind my kitchen sink and the water suddenly stinks or becomes extremely slimy or oily or then it develops a tacky, sticky, gritty residue because Irizarry the psychopath apparently um, is able to somehow leach or um, contaminate the water to my unit and this does not happen to the water that comes out of the bathroom in the common bathrooms down the hall if you have any questions you know my phone number once again i'm calling from unit 89 to report that i can't use any of the taps in my unit right now even though i'm trying to get ready i need to leave the building and now i have to go down the hall to the common bathroom and use the taps in the shower in the common bathroom which is not what i'm being charged for i will be uh i am recording this voicemail for legal purposes and i will be following up with a written email thank you So when your landlord deliberately places a psychopath who claims to be a structural engineer who builds things and they literally let this person live in the bathroom behind your kitchen sink for 10 years, then all bets are off. Most of the nut job uh, retards who watch my channel don't understand what a psychopath is. So let me put it in simple terms. All serial killers are psychopaths. Psychopaths are not even remotely normal. Psychopaths are the subject of every single horror movie every, ever made. Michael Myers is a psychopath. Jasmine Irizarry of Unit 78 is a psychopath. Jeffrey Dahmer was a psychopath. Serial rapists are psychopaths. They're also sex offenders. Jasmine Irizarry is also a sex offender. She likes to place surveillance devices in people's bathrooms and then becomes violent against the wall behind their toilet when they try to use their toilets. That has been my direct and personal daily experience every single day that I've been in this unit since 2013. None of this was happening before the Greenville group placed the psychopath, Jasmine Irizarry, in the bathroom behind this wall. And right now she is so agitated, she's literally filling this entire area with marijuana smoke that forces me to keep the door to the hallway wide open. As you can see, this door is being kept wide open for ventilation and I shouldn't have to be doing this. This is not safe. It also not, it's not private, even though there's obviously surveillance devices in my bathroom. It, it makes my unit even less private than it already is when I have to keep that door open just for ventilation. Wow, so the, this entire corner right here, right? So there's, there's nothing in this corner except for the bathroom 78. This entire corner right here is literally just pouring smoke of marijuana. It is so intense. It's just filling this entire area right here and this window. I don't smell it in the hallway. I don't smell it over by my door. It's also not over by this closet. So if it was coming from below or from the hallway, as Greenville likes to gaslight me and say it's coming from the hallway, I would be able to smell it over here. I don't smell anything over here. There's nothing here. There's nothing over here. <laughs> so it's not coming from the hallway, folks. It's not coming from below because then it would also be literally being siphoned up into this closet. If it was coming from directly below, it's not coming from 88. He does a lot of other weird stuff, but he doesn't smoke. And uh, I have to keep that door wide open for ventilation because the smoke doesn't come from the hallway. I have to go out into the hallway to get fresh air. This is unreal. This keeps happening. And now in order to get ready, I have to go down the hall to the common bathroom and use the water from the common bathroom because it's not greasy or oily or slimy. But the water from all three of my taps currently is, and I can't rinse anything off without it feeling like I just poured salad dressing all over my water bottles and my dishes.